All right, this video is about changing the timer mechanism on a Challenge Air 560. Probably only about one other person in the world is ever gonna watch this video because they're willing to do this. But it's actually a very simple fix and it's relevant to anything that basically has this kind of timer on it, which is a lot of things. I think toaster ovens use the same timer. So if you don't know what a Challenge Air 560 is, it's a hair dryer for dogs. You mount this on a cage with these hooks while the dog, after the dog gets a bath, and um, it blow dries out your dog. Now obviously these are not for home use, these are professional units, usually for groomers and uh, you know places where they do uh, pet bathing. And actually these things are about $400, so it's a little bit expensive for a hair dryer for a dog. Anyway, let's get into it. As you can see here, the knob fell off at some point and the girls that were using it just started using a pair of pliers on it and have ground it down to a nub. So I'm going to try to figure out what I can do with this timer bit. The rest of it's in good shape. It's not sure if we're going to be able to just replace this timer unit or have to just modify it to where it's not a timer unit anymore, maybe just a switch or something an on off switch because basically what we have over here is you turn your air off and on and you have off and on for low heat and then the timer just controls the power to this side so I've already kind of taken this thing apart like I said I wasn't gonna really film this but I noticed a couple things here that the manufacturer really got wrong for the situation that this is used in uh, First of all, the mower, or the, the mower, first of all, the motor, you can look in there, you can see hair. Now, this side should have a filter on it, and so this might not be a problem with, that hair is just kind of packed around that mag, those magnets. This side might not be such a problem with the design as it is just not using the filter enough. Uh, the actual squirrel cage looks pretty good, but the real issue is inside. Let me get this thing open and I'll show you what I mean. So there is the electrical connections to the switches up front. And as you can see, it's full of hair. Now, there is a cover that goes over this. This cover kind of goes in here like this and covers up those switches. The problem is, is that there's too much gap around the cover and it lets all this hair in. And this is quite a significant amount of hair, as you can see, all around those connectors, which isn't good. Especially given that this is in a, a humid environment, so that would be damp hair at least part, part of the time. Just wanted to show that and maybe the manufacturer will see this in a, in a real world environment and see that maybe they need to seal that up a little bit more. But uh, in the meantime, let's see what we can do about getting that timer unit out of there and seeing if I can order a, a replacement. So I got the back end cleaned up and the wiring taken apart and there's no way to take the switch out from the back side. So I'm guessing there must be something under this label. Sorry if the camera's shaking, it's kind of in my way. So I'm gonna try to peel this label off. And yep. And reveal our two screws get those screws out and take it out and take a look at it. Okay, so it's a couple days later and uh, right on time, of course, my neighbors have decided to run their weed eater and their chainsaw at the same time. So, might have to shut the door here in a minute, but we have a replacement part and I have to give a big shout out to these guys. TME or Transfer Multi-Sort Electronic out of Poland. 
they were the only place that had the same brand and the same time setting. These come in a bunch of different time settings. This one was 30 minutes. You can get them in F. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, an hour, but I could only find the 30 minute at this place, TME. Now, apparently they have a distribution center or an office in Atlanta, but they actually sent this from Poland. I placed the order on Sunday. On Monday morning, it was shipped. Monday afternoon, it was at Charles de Gaulle Airport in France. Tuesday morning, it was in Atlanta. And Wednesday morning, it was delivered to me. So, again, big shout out to these guys. Really nice, quick service. No fuss, no muss. And if I'd have got this part that was the a different, a different time setting, uh, the only other ones I found were around $100. This one was $30 shipped with that time of shipping. So, amazed there. Uh, got a really good deal. Considering this unit is about $400, I think spending $30 on a new part is a good investment. Now, of course, if this were mine, I would have put a toggle switch on there just to turn it off and on, or maybe even tried to weld this up the shaft up you can see the difference in the shafts how much that's ground down maybe try to weld this up and make it work but it's not mine it's for customers so so we're going to do it the right way we're going to replace it with a new unit this switch is just a little bit different than the other one in that it has some more poles let's turn it around the right way so you see it's identical except they added a couple extra poles and all, all that is is different functions for different uses uh, it's no big deal you can pull these out or leave them in as long as they're not touching anything they don't make any difference um, they are, our poles are a little bit oriented differently this one on the number two here on the original is straight back this one's to the side and the number one is you, you, you get the, the gist doesn't make any difference functionality wise uh, like I said, I'll, well, let's just try to pull one of these out and see if they actually come out easily. Okay, yeah, let's not do that. You see how this has got some little barbs on it. I thought it had like a little quick disconnect, but it doesn't. Now, this is the old one. I didn't try this on the new one, so <laughs> pulling this out of there uh, destroyed it. So, don't do that. No big deal. We have our new one. I'm just going to bend these out of the way the ones we're not using to make sure that they don't contact anything so we're only going to use number one and number two the rest of them do not get used because of the way this thing goes in the case I had to make a little modification I had to extend these connectors out a little bit shouldn't be a big deal this should now all fit in the case there's plenty of room behind the switch there's just not a lot of room beside the switch so I couldn't make the connect the original connectors fit far enough so let's try to put it in there now you don't really see that very well but it fits in there now I should be able to put the screws on it okay well I stuck this label back on we got it plugged in Bob on working but when you turn the timer on it shuts off and then when you turn the timer off it turns on obviously something's different I'm gonna have to figure this out all right so either I took it off the one I didn't think I took it off of or this switch is a little bit different maybe they updated it not sure it's got the same type number not quite sure but I have figured it out so we have one to three and there is actually is an arrow there at one to three when the timer is on we do get power going through 
whereas anywhere else we try to go through we get nothing so that's got to be our our setting good job buddy all right we'll try it again it's plugged in switch is on put our knob on tight and fan works it's blowing hot air timer runs out shuts off and I'll leave it on for a few minutes to make sure that it shuts off on its own. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it's not for everybody, but, uh, you know, little repairs like this, they come around. And sometimes they get a little bit complicated. Sometimes they're just a matter of changing parts. Appreciate y'all watching. See you next time.